Welcome to the Grow Your Law Firm podcast, brought to you by Pilma. This podcast helps lead lawyers to more growth, profit, and freedom. Here is your legal marketing expert and host, Ken Hardison. Well, hello, everyone. This is Ken Hardison, and welcome to another episode of Grow Your Law Firm. And today, we're going to do a solo podcast, and I'm going to be talking about associate attorney compensation. This is a subject that comes up often at some of our PILMA mastermind meetings over the years, and there there is no hard and fast rule on how to pay associate attorneys. Some lawyers, law firm owners, like to pay just strict commissions off of what they actually deposit, off the fees that they generate. Others like to just pay salaries, and then, and then other law firm owners like to pay a, a hybrid, a base salary plus a commission. Really, the only hard and fast rule that you need to think about and stick to is that you really don't want any associate attorney making more than 20% of what they generate in revenue, what they deposit from their, their own actions, from their own work. And what I tell lawyers is, you know, you got to go with what, what feels good for you. And I think it also matters of how you got your firm set up. Like I know some law firm owners, the same lawyer will handle a case from the beginning all the way through trial, a jury trial. Then we got other firms that they had just have pre-lit lawyers, and then they have litigation lawyers. If it doesn't get settled, then it goes over to another lawyer that does nothing but litigation. And so what I want to talk about today is how to set up this compensation plan for your attorneys and give you different ideas. Like I said, there is no wrong, there is no right. Just whatever you do, do what I call a pro forma, which is, okay, say if I attorney A and I paid him this way, if he generated a half a million dollars worth of income or a million dollars, what would he make? And is that going to be more than 20% of the fees he generated? And so kind of play with it. You should have an idea of what each attorney can bring in far as fees. And of course, this has nothing to do with referral fees. I really think that you should pay your attorneys whatever the going rate is for referral fees. If they bring in a new client, you have to be the final arbitrator of whether or not it was strictly from them or whether it's from your name or your brand recognition. But if you don't, here's what's going to happen. They're going to send it to your competition and get whatever the going rate is. So why not go ahead and give it to them? You know, I've actually seen this happen with one of our mastermind members. And he found out about a, a case that settled for $3 million. It was a million dollar fee. And that attorney, had he didn't pay referral fees to his associates. And that lawyer got a $333,000 fee from his competition. And of course, that cost that law firm owner $667,000 in fees that he could have had if he'd paid referral fees to his associates. So, you know. And I know some states like Florida can only pay 25%. And in some states like Colorado and Louisiana, there's certain rules. So check with your state bar and make sure whatever you do that you're complying with ethics rules, okay? So let's talk about one scenario where you have the same lawyer handling the case all the way through. In that case, you know, one way you can do it is to give them like a, a base salary and then whatever it might be somewhere between 80 and 120,000, depending on where, what part of the country you're at, and then give them a percentage of 5%, first half a million, another 10% of the next half a million, you know, 15% of the next half a million, whatever it works out, just use your pro forma and figure out what you would end up paying them and go with that. Another way is just to play them straight commission, pay them 15% on everything that's pre-lit and 20% if they file suit and get through discovery and another like 25% if they actually try it through a jury trial. Different ways of doing it. Then there's a, if you got like pre-lit and then lit, I think the pre-lit you can get by very easily with just paying them a flat 15%. If you're going to just do all commission and then your litigation people, you're going to have to make it going to have to make it to where it's worth it for them to come work for you. I think that it's so hard to find good litigators that they can uh, they have a much more bargaining power than a non-trial lawyer, somebody that's just okay at trying. But if you got somebody that gets results, you're going to have to pay them for those results. And so, you know, you might want to 
you could either do it with a salary, you know, like whatever, you know, the going rate is plus a percentage. And you might have to pay them more than 20%, but you're paying the pre-lit 15%. So you can add another 5%. So you could pay them 25% or you could pay a salary plus 18, 20%. I mean, what I say is you've got to figure it out and run the numbers of what if they generated a million, a half a million, and 1.5, 2 million, and then kind of just see what it would result in. So depending on the way you go, it does make a difference. Now, one thing I know you're thinking, well, if I'm already doing salaries and I want to change to this commission base, how do I do it? Well, you're probably going to, everybody's going to fight you on it. But what I've seen time and time again is with firms that do it, the lawyers end up making more money and the law firm owners end up making more money because it's a, you know, it's incentive pro. I mean, you know, it's it, it works. So what I usually see firms do is to say like they're switching it over or you're bringing in somebody that doesn't have a lot of cases to start with. You give them what I call advanced draws. Like if, if you project that they're going to at least make 100000 off of commissions, then you just break that up and say, okay, we're going to pay you eight or $9,000 a month as an advance against your commissions. That way they, they can still pay their bills while they're getting their cases up and how to, when they're making a transformation. You can do that the same, you know, any way you do, any kind of where it's all contingency, you can give advanced draws. If they don't make it at the end of the year and they're in the hole, they're probably not going to work out. They probably need to find another attorney. There could be a good reason for it. There is, you give them another year, six months, see how they do. But what I've seen most of the time, if they cannot generate enough to pay for themselves, at, you know, under the 20% rule, then uh, they're probably not going to stay low. So this is really the basic ways I see it. And I've seen some firms just pay uh, salaries, and if they get over a certain amount, then they give them a bonus. Like, let's say they pay them 120000 If they bring in over a million dollars fee, they get, you know, extra 10%, everything over a million. But it just really depends on how you want to do it for your firm. And then there's other ways of doing it, uh, and I've seen this. I think Mike Morris does this. He runs like little pods. They got to take care of their overhead of all the staff that they use, general overhead, and then they get a percentage of the profit. They split it with the owner. And that's another way to do it. I'm not as familiar with that. I think it's a great way to do it. I think it's a lot of keeping up with a lot of numbers and that I prefer not to do, but I think it does work. And it's worked well for Mike Morris, and I'm sure it's Mike Morse, and I'm sure it would work good for you. But I think the simpler you can keep it, the better. If I was running a firm now, I would definitely just do straight commission with advanced draws. And if I had, you know, a couple litigation attorneys, I would probably do them a base salary plus the percentage and see where it went and keep testing it. Uh, and I would play with the numbers depending on what my gross income was and what they were generating and just play with it. What I've seen, though, is the lawyers that convert to this, instead of just paying flat salaries, they end up making more money, and their lawyers, associate lawyers, end up making more money. If you have any questions on this, you can email me personally, ken, K-E-N, at pilma.org, P-I-L-M-M-A dot O-R-G, and I'll be glad to, to talk to you about it, see if there's anything, if you got questions on your unique situation, I'm here to help, okay? All right, hope that helped. And until next time, this is Ken Hardison, dedicated to your success. You have been listening to the Grow Your Law Firm podcast, the podcast that leads lawyers to more growth, profit, and freedom. Go to growyourlawfirm.com to find more ways to market and manage your law firm. Please leave us a rating and review wherever you listen to your podcasts.